Hey YouTube. Sorry, it looks like I'm naked. Maybe I am naked. Anyway, okay, so I was going through my old videos and um, I made a video about what I have, my hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia. I made one about three and a half years ago and I was watching my old videos on YouTube and I was a moron. I, ooh, I was just so young. So I wanna make an update video about my hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia. Um, it's H-E-D for short. Okay, so pretty much when I was born, um, my parents, well, the doctors knew that, knew something was wrong, obviously. And, um, you know, they thought I had progeria, which is the thing that, like, it's like a disease. I don't know if it's a disease or a syndrome, so I shouldn't say that, because I hate when people say that I have a disease, because I don't, I have a syndrome. A disease you can spread, if I know, if I think, I think that's right. A disease you can spread, a syndrome you can't. Anyway, they thought I had progeria, which is like the thing that makes you older, appear a lot older than you are, it ages your whole body. Um, but I was definitely under 18 months when they found out I had ectodermal dysplasia. They didn't know necessarily what type of it I had because there are so many different forms of ED. Um, so yeah, um, we found out that I had hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia in the summer of 2008. We went to a conference, sorry my nose like so itches, it looks like I'm picking my nose. Um, went to a conference in 2008. Um, I've been to, I'm wanting to say I've been to three of the conferences, but maybe I've only been to two. I remember I went to the one in Ohio in 1999 and it was in Cleveland. And I remember I went to the one in 2008 and it was in Des Moines. So. Is that right? Was it Des Moines? It was in Iowa, and I'm pretty sure it was Des Moines. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So how I am affected by HED? I clearly do not have hair. Like I don't know if you can see. Like, like I have like baby hair. It's like so 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 little, and I have hair nowhere else other than I have like peach fuzz on my face. Like every now and then, it's not always there, which is weird, right? Um, but I noticed it like where I would have like sideburns, like if I had hair, you know, so maybe I would have like a beard because sometimes it'll be like down to here and it's never noticeable. Like nobody else can see it but me and I'm always like, can you see I just have like this full beard right here? Kidding, obviously. But yeah, um, and then I have like the tiniest peach fuzz on my armpits and I didn't even notice I had that until maybe like a year ago. And like, I don't know if this is so gross or not, but <laughs> every now and then like I'll get one like this long hair on my armpit and it's like really dark because I don't I mean I don't know if you can see but my hair would be it would be dark brown if I had a full head of hair and um yeah so every now and then I get like one really long hair on my armpit and I'm just like mom look at my look at my long armpit hair yeah like sorry I'm ridiculous and um other than that like I don't I again I have like the tiniest eyebrows like I can feel them but you can't see them and I have eyelashes, but like, like I don't know if you can see them or not, even from the side, probably not. It just looks, I look creepy without my glasses because I don't have eyebrows. Anyway, okay, so yeah, I don't have hair anywhere. Um, uh, what else? Um, I don't know, okay, yeah, I, I had five real teeth. I had my two back molars right here, I had my bottom molar, and I have my two front eye teeth right here. Um, and I got this tooth actually pulled, so now I only have four, I only have my top four. I had this tooth pulled in, like just a couple years ago, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, I got my first set of dentures in fifth grade and I hated them. They were so hard to wear, like, I mean, you know, luckily I had these two teeth right here all growing up, so I could eat everything. Like, matter of fact, I could eat better then than I can now. Um, within reason, I could never bite into an apple or eat, like, I could never bite into anything. I always had to cut stuff up and, like, take bites. Um, so yeah, I got my first set of dentures in fifth grade, so I would have been nine or ten, and, um, I hated them. Hated them. And, um, but I finally got used to them. I think within a year, I wore my top teeth all the time. I never wore my bottom ones. Never, 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 never. Um, they never stayed in and they never felt right. And they just, I, I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't need to wear them because I had this other tooth. So I didn't need them. Um, so yeah. And then in like November of 04, I had a bone graft from my right hip to my jaw. 
Oh no, I can't really like, maybe I can just lean the camera back. I have like that scar there and I don't know if you guys can actually even see. Yeah, you can a little bit, the scar on my hip. Okay, I'm trying to hurry because I don't want this to be long. So yeah, I had a bone graft um, and that really wasn't too bad. I can make another video on that if you actually are interested. So I had the bone graft done. Um, and then I had four implants, like screws put into my bone. So it would make my bone a lot stronger to actually wear bottom dentures. And, um, I had that done like a year after my bone graft. And the first time I got them in, they didn't set. Like I don't, I don't, the first time I had them in though, it was, I was just like slightly sedated. So I was awake. I could hear everyone. I could see what was going on and it was so weird. And, um, the second time they fully put me under. And uh, the second time they said, well, they took them out. Okay, yeah, like, because one fell out, and you could see all the way into my bone, and it was so weird. And um, and then, so yeah, I went in, like, two days later, had to get them all taken out, and then had to let my jaw heal again for a whole year, and then I got them put in again, and then they've been fine ever since. Um, so, yeah, um, I've had I've had root canals on these two teeth right here on top, Um and they're both capped and stuff. And then these two, I've had like cavities filled and stuff, but I use fluoride. It's like a, it's like a gel and I do it. You're supposed to do it every day, but I know fluoride is so bad for you. I know that the dentists are like, oh, the small amount you ingest, well, it's all right. Um, no, it's really not all right. Like fluoride is so bad for you. And I mean, I do it anyway, because I, I want my teeth to last as long as they can, because when my teeth fall, I mean, not fall out, but like this tooth right here, I let it rot. Like, I know it sounds so gross, but it never hurt. But the entire enamel of my tooth completely fell off. And keep in mind, like, I'm a clean person. I brush my teeth every day. I have forever, if not twice a day. And, but I just think the fact that, you know, I, I eat food and say I eat candy and maybe like little sugar gets underneath my tooth and, you know, I mean, it's a lot easier for teeth to rot when they're always covered up. I feel like there's a booger in my eye. Um, so yeah, um, that, yeah, teeth, that's a whole another story though. Let me check my time again. Boom. Okay. I, you know, I'm stupid. Okay. Yeah. So hair, teeth, um, I'm really white. I can't tan. Um, I usually don't even tan very well in a tanning bed. Um, but I do, which is so weird because like my stomach will tan a lot. My stomach will get dark and the rest of me is like, yeah, I'm white. What's up? And I'm like, well, crap. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I have nails. My nails are actually like, you probably can't tell in the video, but they grow kind of crooked like the like bend down a little bit but only a couple of them i notice like my first fingers do a lot and then like these fingers do but i don't know if you can tell like they're not like crazy but like my thumbnail do you see how it like turns a little i don't even know if you can see that but um yeah so they grow kind of like they grow really fast and they're and they're strong and they're healthy nails which is weird because a lot of people that have well it's not weird but a lot of people that have hed or ad in general don't have good nails um so I, I have awesome nails. I'm also really not supposed to be able to smell and I can actually smell really well. Like since my eyes are bad, which is a whole nother story in itself, since my eyes are bad, all my other senses are really strong. I always tell everyone I have X-Men powers because I can hear really well. I can smell really well. My my touch and my taste is everything. I can eat something and tell you everything in it. And it's, it's cool. I enjoy it. Um, my last thing is I don't sweat. I don't sweat at all, which is why I had a boob job, which if you want to see, I have a whole nother video on that. Um, the boobs are sweat glands and I was never going to get sweat glands cause I don't have sweat glands. And so, yeah. Um, I think the only time I actually sweat is sometimes I, but I wouldn't even say sweat, but like if I'm walking outside and I'm really hot and I have like flip flops on, my foot will slightly stick to my flip flop, but it's never moisture. It's never like but I, but I notice it's a little sticky and I know it's from like 0.1% of sweat. I'm sorry. I got to keep checking my video cause I don't want this to be very long cause it's an HD camera and it'll be forever. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, just hair, sweat, nails are fine. I can smell fine. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much how I'm affected by ED. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's cool guys. Thanks for watching my video. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, no, thanks for watching my video, and if you have any questions, um, you feel free to ask me, because I'm more than willing to answer them, and, um, yeah, so if you wanted me to make another video about, I mean, anything, like, I could make one about my eyes, why my eyes are bad, which has nothing to do with ED, it's just icing on the cake for Marissa, mm-hmm, and, um, I think that's it, so I'm sorry I'm, like, rambling on really fast and talking really fast, but I had a lot to talk about <clears throat> and to cover.